Right. Uh, in this video, we want to add new items in the system. Uh, we want to add a new product in the system. So we're going to go through the process of adding a new product in order. So to do that, you click on inventory. My network is a little bit slow, right? So under inventory here, you can see there are many things that you can see here, but let us just ignore them. We are going to go on products here. Then you click on products there. So this is the process of adding new products in order. In Udu, Udu, Udu. Okay, right. Uh, so we can see our items here. Uh, they are in this view. This one. If you want to see a list view, you can click on this one. It will show you a list view. So we can see our items in a list view. I prefer a list view. So to create your product, you can click on click on create there. Right, uh, and then we enter a product name. So let's say uh, I'll be selling uh, laptops. So I'm going to type laptop there. Laptop Koi Koi 9. Let me just say it demo so that we see it's a demo name. So here you need to make sure that it's ticked, it can be purchased, it can be sold. Product type, you can just leave it as it is. Then product categories, you need to add a group name here. So let me just add a group name. I'm going to add a group name called, uh, let's say, ITEL. ITEL. So here, if, the, if this group is not in the system, you can see here where it's written, create ITEL or create and edit. If we take the option to create and edit, there will be many more options to, to this option. But if I just want to add the group, no any other settings that I want to do to this group, you can just click here on create. It will automatically be created. And then you go on reference, internal reference. We are going to put the same name as we did there. And the barcode, we are going to put again the same name. And then here, Kanban, if I want to, if I want this, this laptop to be appearing only in one branch, I will come here and choose the branches that I want it to be appearing. So I can click on the first shop there. Ah, no, no. Let's, no, let, let, we want this item to be appearing in all the shops. So let me remove that option. But if you wanted it to appear only in one shop, I was just going to come and select that shop. That item will only appear in that shop. But if I don't choose any shop or company here, it's going to appear in all the companies. Then here you enter the cost. Let's say our laptop is going to be costing uh, the cost price, which is the price that we bought it for, it's going to be $1.50. And the selling price, we are going to sell it at $2.50. If you want to put text, you can just drop down arrow here and select the text. But in our case, we are not going to be charging text. After that, you can come here and upload a picture. So to upload the picture, you can just click on that. After clicking on that, uh, let me just pick any picture here. Uh, okay, let me pick that one for code for that uh, for that for that show. Okay, let me put that as my picture. Uh, after that, I know. Let me. I think I've got a nicer picture than that. Let me put desktop. Okay, let me put a desktop there. So this is the picture, and then after that, you come under sales. Here, there is nothing that you may want to put. You go to point of sale, uh, you tick it's available in point of sale. So the moment you tick this, this item will appear in point of sale, and then you select the category it's going to fill. Uh, let's say it's going to fall under menu 2. So, so far, we don't have menu 2. So let me say menu 2 there. But if we did have menu 2, I was just going to select it. So, menu 2 is not in the system, so I just need to click on create menu 2. Automatically, it will be created. After that, under purchases, there is nothing much that you want to, to see there. And then we go to inventory. Under inventory, if you want to check uh, serial numbers, we will tick here uh, by serial number. Traceability, we are, we are going to be tracing by serial number. 
But if we don't want to be tracing with serial number, I can just click here on no tracking. But in this case, I want to be tracking serial numbers. So I'm going to tick there. Uh, all these ones, you can just leave them as they are. Uh, we don't need anything to do with them. Then under accounting, you can just leave it as it is. The system will automatically post uh, in these accounts. So it means we just need to enter here and here and here and the cost and the selling price uh, and then pause. You need to tick that it's available in pause. After that, you go to inventory, you tick it's checked by serial number if you want to check by serial number. But if you don't want to check by serial number, you can just go straight to save. And we are not going to put the quantities as for now. So I'm going to save. So you just click on save there. So that's it for adding items uh, in the auto. If you wanted to put a quantity, you can just click on a quantity on the end there. So if you also want to edit this item, you can just click on edit button and then edit where you want to edit. Uh, so now I want to go back to my product list. I can click there where it's written products. So you can just click there on products. So my product is now appearing. Here it is. If I want to edit this one again, I can just double click on it. If I want to create a new one, I can just click on create. So that's it for editing products in Odoo.